awful the day Mr. John was looking for a new riding instructor. Without much luck. Water, 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 water. Well, water. Oh, no water, matter water. who he saw, he just couldn't seem to find the right person. <laughs> Those kids are driving me mad. Doesn't look like Frilly Nick has got the job then. Are you surprised? Not exactly dressed for the job, is she? Oh, beautiful. Oh, hands as soft as those could groom away all your woes. Soft hands? Firm hands is what you need to control these kids. Darren! Hugo! Do those children think they're doing? Horrid Hugo up to his pranks again, young Daisy. Oh dear, not again. <laughs> if Mr. John has got any sense, he'll employ a bloke this time. That'll sort those horrids out. There were just two more people for Mr. John to see, and it sounded like one of them had just arrived. Speeding? I'll have no speeding on my yard. Well, that's more like it. I'd put my carrot rations on him being the new riding teacher. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't put my carrot rations anywhere near him. He's revolting. Dada! Mm -hmm. <sighs> slow, 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 slow. Dream of a maiden that is firm but fair, with a riding crop and a net in her hair. Well, it looks as if your dreams come true, Trigger. Look! Now that's what I call a firm hand. She's bound to get the job. Her faithful friend lay ever ready, grey and white, and known as Freddy. Well, if I was Mr. John, I know who I'd choose for the job. Me too, and it wouldn't be Slobby Bob there. Oh, you don't think he's going to? He wouldn't, would he? He's smoking. Oi, can't you read? It says no smoking. Obviously didn't get the job then. <coughs> Good. We won't have to put up with that horrible smoky bite. <coughs> 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 That's not motorbike smoke. 
That's a fire. Fire! Young Strop, wriggle out of your head collar quickly. I'm trying to fight you. They won't come off. You were the one. That dog must have been a police dog. Good work, Freddy. Now, Sparky, you go and get Mr. Job. Right, okay. I'm on my way. Now, Daisy, you can open doors, can't you? Well, I'm not sure. I'm... Oh, gee, there's too much smoke. <coughs> you could sleep properly. Now push the door, Caesar. Push the door. <laughs> well done, Daisy. And the next quick. OK, then. Now push the door, Ben. Come on, Ben. Then you push your door. Come on. <coughs> Trigger? Daisy. A straw. Yeah, and Sparky. Sparky! Sparky! Is there anyone left in there? <coughs> help! Help! <coughs> Whoever's in there, please evacuate the stable immediately. I can't! I'm frightened! Come out, lads! I can't! I can't see through the fire! <coughs> no! Freddy! Be careful, Freddy! Oh, no! no. no. Oh, what Freddy, no! Oh, oh, be oh, careful, no. Freddy! Don't go in there! Oh, Freddy, I can't see anything! <coughs> John arrived just in time to put out the fire in the stables. Rado was saved. Freddy was the hero of the day. The police had caught Slobby Bob and arrested him. Mr. John gave Bossy Betty the job as a new riding teacher. And none of the chatter-happy horses or ponies were hurt, thanks to Freddy the dog's bravery. What's he up to? He's up to no good or my name's not Strop.
nipples are getting really tacky. Ooh, not good enough for a smarty pants like you, I suppose. I must say, they could do with a coat of paint. Well, it looks like you're in luck, Sparky. Mr. John wants them painting. What a water, 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 Stop. But no. What a, what a, what a, what a, what a. Hey, uh, those tricks. Hey, better watch out, everyone. I saw that horse thief Norman skulking around. Oh, you're just trying to frighten me, Strop. I am not. I saw him. Anyway, you're just jealous because I'm in my stable today. Did you Frankie? Is it fair? I give you some attention, Norman. Who's it fair? Norman. Vla? Norman. Oh, Norman. Vla, that's you. I can do some of that, dear Mr. John. I was always sure of that. Say that for fear, that fear, that sure, sure, hardly fear to vla. Mr. John. Shorter, shorter, shorter. Yes, sir. Vla. Paddle Fla. <laughs> oh, that'll be the phone. Well, go and listen then. Go on. Strudley Spluka and Mr. Don. What are they talking about? Fodle for. Daisy. Shh. Then I might be able to hear. Wait, wait, wait. It's the it's a flop, it's me in a smaller flop. It's a flop. It's someone who's coming to paint the stable. Gladly floor. Uh -huh. <sighs> Painter's my hoof. I bet I know just who they'll be. <sighs> Farewell, my Sparky. Just you be careful, Sparky. Why? What could possibly happen to me in my stable? Just keep an eye on those decorators. I'm sure I've seen that horse box before. Oi, you lot! Wait for me! Ah, the decorators to paint my stable at last. Um, I was thinking of something summery. Magnolia or peach. Avocado and custard always looks nice. I was in a very nice stable in Kensington last week. Wait, will you? Something's wrong! We should go back to Sparky! We should go back! Oh. Or something that will make it feel more roomy. I did see a lovely shade of heather the other day. What are you doing? Look, stop horsing around. Oh, if none of you are going to listen, I'll just have to take matters into my own hooves as usual. Right, plan one, classic Gaza. See if they fall for the old wounded hoof well, trick. <laughs> ow, ow, how my hoof hurts. <laughs> Shut happy. <laughs> Fool them. <laughs> now let's see what those painters are really doing. Don't. Oh, that tickles. Oh. <gasps>
I can hardly recognize myself. Oh, you're not putting me in there. Um, hang on a minute. Where are you taking me? Help! Oh, help! Patchy out of my way. Patchy? It's me, Sparky! What a woman! 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 Sparky? You in there? No! No, Darren, no! Sparky! Sparky! Sparky? Sparky! Not in here. She's been nicked! Come on, quickly, Darren! Move on. Oh, nice drop of rain. That'll bring the grass on. Looks like we're going home then. Oh, what a god, Stephen! Must I go take me to Belgium? <laughs> Daisy, who's that piebald pony? That patchy pony? Hmm? Never seen it before. Daisy. Oi, you oh, lot! Sparky's been nicked! Stop, it's me, Sparky! Stolen! Horse snapped! Sparky's been all snapped! Oh, I know that wouldn't be anywhere. It does sound like Sparky. It sounds like Sparky because it is Sparky! Look! Sparky! You mean Sparky? Was that funny coloured pony? Funny coloured, my rub. She's runny coloured. Sparky! Oh, Sparky, that oh, delicious sight. I thought I'd never oh, see you again. Again. I told you. Oh, sorry, but you didn't Getting away! Oh, oh, stop! Stop! The horse thieves did get away, but at least I was safe, thanks to Strop. Mind you, it took ages to get my white coat clean and gleaming again. Happy Farm. Nick Clear and by a mile, famous show jumper, had brought his horse, Wellington Boots, to Chatter Happy Farm. There once was a horse that did bite. I'll bite you, Trigger, if you don't stop that poem nonsense. There once was a horse that did bit. No, bite. Oh, give it a rest, Trigger. He looks snooty. Looks dangerous. <laughs> Apparently, Wellington Boots got thrown off the national team for being rude. 
Unbelievable scenes here at the Paris Open. Wellington Boots, the famous show jumper, has just bitten French mayor La Mamselle on the bottom. The steward's not happy. The crowd aren't happy. And La Mamselle certainly isn't happy. Oh, mon dieu, what an horrible horse. The vet there in the arena administering first aid. Oh, and it looks like Nick Clearham by a mile has lost his place on the team. Looks like Mr. John's discussing something with Nick Clearham by a mile. There once was a horse that did bite. Um, anyone who got in his way. Girlfight. Uh, trigger, I'm trying to listen. What a revolting place. Beg your pardon? A riding school. Not at all the sort of place for an incredibly talented show-jumping horse like moi. Oh, really? Well, it just so happens that moi, I'm an incredibly talented riding school pony, I'll have you know. <laughs> talented riding school pony. No such thing. No talent needed to be a riding school pony. Oh, what a thing to say. Well, I'd like to see you try. Thankfully, that will never be. I have no intention of becoming a riding school horse. But he was wrong, old snooty boots. You see, little did he know that Mr. John was right at that moment negotiating a deal with Nick Clearer by a mile. Horrid. 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 Oh, yeah. But, 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 but do what a do but a what a what a The deal was that in return for a stable, he would have to teach a lesson. And just guess which lesson he was going to have to teach. <laughs> Backs to the wall, lads. Here comes the body biter. Mm, yeah. What a poser. <laughs> Oi, snooty boots. Ready for your first lesson? Ha, ha, ha. Well, at least I won't have to carry grotty beginners on my back. My rider's the famous show jumper, Nick Clearham by a mile. You big gelding. Watch it, sunshine. I thought introducing our riders might help. This is Nervous Nelly, Mr. Boot. She's a little bit shy, but Trigger is slowly building her confidence. She loves Trigger. She looks like a wimp. This is Darren, a little bit distracted sometimes by computer games, but Strop knows how to look after him. Riff raff. Horrid Hugo, Harriet's brother, always in trouble, but Daisy loves him. Oh, do. Yuck. Oh, horrid Harriet! Shush, Daisy, she's my rider. <gasps> it's Mrs. Mrs. Horrid! What a frightful looking woman. For once, Snooty oh, Boots, you might no. just be right. I wonder no. which one of us she's going to ride. <gasps> Not me. Blah. Oh, St. David is watching over me. Ah. <gasps> Blah. <sighs> Christopher Carrot, she's Ooh. going to ride Wellington Boots. They can't be serious. Oh, my goodness, I think I'm going to wet myself. <gasps> <gasps> Then it was Mrs. Horrid's turn. Oh dear. Oh, we go, love. Oh, 
Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh she's oh. making a bit of a pig's ear oh. if you're up to mind. Oh, 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 Emma. Oh, 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 Emma. Oh, oh, she goes. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, a nice clean chest. She couldn't even get on properly, let alone right. You think she'd never seen an horse Just before? Just get her on. Oh, no, dear, no. no oh, dear. Oh. Oh, oh, I know. Oh, 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 of all the cat handed. I knew she needed oh. no one end of us from the other, and I was proved right. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody yeah. shut her up. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, blah, blah. It was a very funny lesson. <laughs> Mrs. Horrid was definitely the worst rider any of us had ever seen. <laughs> Right, come on, chaps, let's show him how it's done. Come on, your crocodile. Easy peasy. Jumping. That I can do with my eyes closed. Watch and learn, dog me. Hang on, I absolutely refuse to jump anything that's under four foot. Now that's what I call dropping her in it. <laughs> A riding school pony should never do that. Mr. John was furious that one of his clients had been so upset. Especially when he had to give her money back. And he made the famous Nick clear and by a mile earn his keep in a far more arduous way. There once was a trigger. No, no, I, I got it now, honest. Uh, there once was a horse that did fight. Anyone who got in his sight. A French mare that won got bit on the bum. They say it was love at first bite. Yes, go on, enjoy yourself, Betjeman. <laughs> oh, oh, disgraceful. Oh, Just because he's bigger than us. And barley, but as usual, Daisy was still hungry. Anyone got any grub left? I'm starving. Come anywhere near my bucket, Daisy, and I'll have your guts for girth straps. But I'm a poor starving pony, wasting away. I'm sure I got less than everyone else. Sparky, you'd spare me a mouthful of barley, wouldn't you? I've only got a little mouth. Daisy, I need all my barley to keep my coat beautiful and white. Go away. Oh, be like that then. Let me starve, why don't you? I'll just have to help myself. Oh no, Daisy's on a grub hunt again. Norman! It's <laughs> <laughs> Mr. John always has some nice mints on his desk. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I helped myself to a few. Oh, look. Oh. 
Bossy Betty's left the feed room door open. What's a poor starving brummy pony supposed to do? It's an outrage, Freddy. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Daisy. <laughs> Norman! 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 Little Daddy Daisy, I'll have flange food. I've seen more grass in Birmingham City Centre. <laughs> you see, it's just that grass never really fills me up, Freddy. It just gives me the munchies even more. I need something more substantial to eat. What, what is it? What are you barking about? I must be dreaming. It must be a mirage. It's not a mirage. It, it's, a, it's a carrot. A real carrot. In fact, the most enormous carrot I've ever seen. Norman! Oh. Oh. I'm saved from starvation, Freddy. I'm off. Come back, carrot. Carrot. I haven't even had a sniff yet. Strange, but I've never seen a walking carrot. But then I've never seen a giant carrot. A tasty giant carrot. Here, 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 here carrot. Come back. Oh, oh splurge. Where's it going? Carrot! Oh, carrot! I won't hurt you. I've got soft teeth. Oh. Shush! Freddy! Freddy, you'll frighten it! Be quiet, Freddy! Oh, carrot! Here, carrot! Where are you? Carrot? Cat? Carrot? Carrot? Hey! Yeah, what's this? Oh, have I died and gone to heaven? Oh, yes! That's what's happened! It's... It's Carrot Heaven! Oh! I've been rewarded by the Carrot God at last for all the good lessons I've given Orid Hugo. Oh, all oh, those red, juicy carrots just for me. <gasps> yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, lovely. Oh, goodbye, Freddy. Goodbye, my darling. I'm off to Carrot Heaven. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Oh, how marvellous. Oh, this is my lucky day. <laughs> Oh, why don't you just speak pony, Freddy? Trigger, you speak doggy, don't you? Oh, well, only the odd bark or two. Um, <coughs> Daisy? Horse thieves? Horse, Horse thieves? thieves? Oh, no! Oh, Daisy! Come on! Oh, Mr. Carrot God, oh, Mr. and Mrs. Carrot God, could you slow down a bit? I'm having a bit of difficulty swallowing the carrot. Oh, that's, that's better. Oh, who must be here? Looks like the gates of Carrot Heaven. Those are the gates to Carrot Heaven. And they're not the Carrot Gods. They're horse thieves. I've been all snapped. Oh, no. Help. Help. Stop. Oh, please, stop. Where are they taking me? Freddy. Daisy! Oh, hang on, Daisy! Poor oh, Daisy! 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 Daisy. Oh, be careful! Sparky! Trigger! Oh, what if I don't see the trail? Oh dear, and it seems like such a waste of good carrots, but it's the only way! Stra help! Help! Sparky! She's not here! No one's here! Where is she then? Oh, Daisy! She's at it. Tid for sure. Oh, Daisy! Wait a minute. Look! A carrot! Freddy, it's a carrot!
turret trail. Come on! Hurry, everybody, to the rescue! Daisy! 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 Oh no! Me lost carrot! Help! Sparky, help! Help! Oh, help! Freddy! <laughs> the trail stopped! Oh no, the last carrot! Which way now? Freddy? 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 Help. Freddy? Which way, Freddy? Come on! Daisy! 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 I'll never forget me friends, Sparky, Strop, Trigger. I'll never forget you all. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> Freddy. Shh. There's Daisy. Good. He's asleep. Now, move in, Freddy. Wait for it, Freddy. Wait for it. Go, Freddy! Freddy, quick, Freddy! Untie me, please! Uh, that's it, get hold of it! That's it, pull, pull harder! Pull, pull harder! Go, Sparky! Oh, that's it! I oh, will go! Go, Trigger! Scrap, scrap, oh, everyone! Let's get out of here! Go! Go, oh, Freddy! Oh, go, Freddy! Let's get out of here! Oh, 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 thank you, everybody. Help again. Oh, Daisy. Mr. John was feeling a bit mean for Daisy. not giving the hungry Daisy a mint earlier, but was a little surprised to find. Carrot! Yuck! I'm sorry, Mr. John, but I'll have to decline. I don't think I'll ever eat carrots again. <laughs> Puddle. Oh, I don't like puddles. Find the puddle. Find the puddle. Find the puddle. One, two, one, two. Keep up, Daisy. I'm trying. It was such a lovely day that Bossy Betty decided to take us down to the river for a picnic. Are we nearly there, Samson? Not long now, Daisy. But I'm really hungry, Samson. You're always hungry, Daisy. Greedy guts. One, two, one, two. Now, when we get there, I don't want any nonsense. Do you understand? Yes, Samson. Yes. Okay, Samson. Yes, sir. You're to stay near me. No wandering off. Yes, all right. Okay. 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 Right, young'uns, single file through the water. Water? No, why am I going through any water? I hate the water. It's wet. My feet are staying on dry land. I'm not budging. No way. Samson! Daisy, stop! Daisy, what do you think you're playing at? I'm sorry, but I'm not going in the water. She's scared. Oi, scaredy pony won't go in the water. Oh, don't be mean, Strop. Come on, Daisy. No way, I can't, Sparky. I'm stuck on. I don't believe it. We're going back. 
dear. Oh, Daisy. I'm sorry, Samson, but I really don't like water. Daisy, you and I shall have words back at the yard. Now you're for it, scaredy pony. Daisy is a scaredy pony. Don't be so mean. Poor Daisy. I couldn't understand why she should be so frightened of water, but I decided that something had to be done. I waited till Darren, Horrid Hugo and the others went for their picnic. I offered to help Daisy. It's very kind of you to offer Sparky, but the answer is definitely no. I'm not going in that water. Didn't you see the really nice green juicy grass on the other side? Juicy grass on the other side? Are you sure? I knew that the one thing Daisy will do anything for is food. Oh, I don't think I can do this, Sparky. Come on, Daisy. No way, it's too deep. I'll drown. Just stay in the middle and you'll be fine. Look, watch me. Ooh. See? Easy. Oh no, what if I sink? What if there are sharks or even pony-eating piranha fish? Lovely, long, fresh, juicy grass over here, Daisy. Ooh. That's well, right. You can do it. Mm, good girl, well done. Oh, she's coming, everyone. Isn't that oh, yes. marvellous? Well done, Daisy. Oh, lovely like and cool on my feet. water. Daisy? Daisy? Oh, yes, I'm swimming. Oh, this is fabulous. Oh, yes, I'm Daisy? Down, please. Come back. No. Oh, dear. Oh, it's cool. Oh, I said that was a bit cold. Daisy? Oh, it's no good. I need help. Strop. 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 Strop! Strop! What do you want, Sparky? It's Daisy! Look! Can't you see I'm eating? I'm far too busy to worry about that greedy guts, Daisy. Look, everyone, I'm in the water! Strop, I'm in the water! Look, everyone, I'm a seahorse! <laughs> Daisy Mare, is she mad? Get out of there, Daisy! Samson! Daisy, what are you doing in there? I'm swimming! I'm swimming! That's what I'm doing! Oh, I'm so clever! I might be in the next Olympics, I might. Daisy! Rivers are dangerous things! Now get out immediately! Out. Come on, Strop, we'll sort this out. That's it! Right at the top. Ooh, that's right. Oh, deeper and deeper. Oh. No, it's all right. No, it's all right. We can keep going. Freddy, what's the matter? What is it? Oh, I do wish you could speak pony. Why don't you just show me? Wait for me. Freddy? Now where's she off to? I'll never understand mares. Oh, 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 what is it, Freddy? Oh, it's a waterfall. Oh no! Oh, you're right, Freddy. We've got to stop her. Come on. Strop! 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 Oh, what now? Oh, oh, Strop! There's a, there's a, there's a waterfall down there! So what? Daisy's heading for it! She'll drown if she gets any nearer to it! Okay, okay, keep your mane on. Oh, come on! <laughs> 
by the time she got out of the river and woke up the next day with a dreadful cold. <laughs> Horrid Hugo and the others came to visit her. And somehow I think she quite enjoyed all the fuss. Hello everybody, could I have a little bit more barley please? Yes, barley for the sick pony. John, he had been sitting on the gate, gazing into space, all morning. Looks like he's just feeling a bit stroppy to me. <laughs> Looks like he's hungry to me. A man in need of some oats, that's what he is. Well, I think he's lonely. Lonely? He's got four ponies to talk to. How on earth could he be lonely? If your heart needs to mend, go and get your pony friend. They'll never let you down. They'll always be around. So the cure for the lonely is to talk to a chat a happy pony. Hey, hey, hey. Trouble is, he doesn't speak pony. What Mr. John needs is someone who speaks the same language as him who understands him. He needs some romance. Aha! Splajula Flula, Sparky! Frankie! Norman? Get over here, Frankie! Norman? Get <laughs> over Oh, good old God, you're Frankie. Oh, look at your old order. Oh, did you ever let all of us see you now, Frankie? Oh, sour. This is from the floor, Norman. Oh, Frankie. Oh, 
Trigger was right. Mr. John did look like he needed some romance. Norman! It's a caution, I think. Check this out, Trigger. Oh, she's so gorgeous. I must say, they're very glamorous. Uh -huh. They seem to have taken quite a shine to you, Sparky. So pretty. I'm sure I've seen her somewhere before. Now I've got it. Isn't she a movie star? That's it, Sparky. She's a film star. A beautiful film star. I wonder who he is. He looks familiar too. Probably a personal assistant or something. They're going to Mr. John's. Well, that should cheer him up. <laughs> Mr. John certainly did cheer up when the film star arrived. He was very pleased to see her indeed. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Follow, follow, follow. Mr. John. And was even more pleased when she told him they wanted to hire a pony for her latest oh. movie. Mr. John took them to the sand school to choose the best pony for the film. I thought I was in with a pretty good chance. Oh, beautiful. I can see Sparky now, galloping down the beach with a blonde mane flowing in the wind. She's bound to get the part. Oh, pass me the sick bag. They'll choose me for my unique oh, physique. Oh, well, 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 Here he comes. Crossed hooves, it's Sparky they choose. Oh, choose me, choose me! Sparky! Oh, Sparky's going to be a pony star. Typical and original casting as usual. Always go for the blonde bimbo. Oh, same old casting all spots. I was chosen. I was going to star in the new superhero film, Mutant Ninja Ponies 2. Mr. John seemed very pleased. Shooting was to start immediately on stage one at the studios in Boggywood. I wish I was going to Boggywood. Hang on a minute, you have been to Boggywood. That's where the knacker's yard is. <gasps> Horses! Oh no! Now there's just a few things I'd like to get straight about my carrot contract. First, I insist on having my own weenie bagel, and secondly, about my makeup artist. I knew there was something familiar about those two. Come on! Oh no! Poor Sparky! Hurry up, Trigger! Come on! Right, open the gate! Open the gate! Oh, yes, open the gate! Trigger, go and get Mr. John! Hurry! Mr. John, right, okay, I'll get Mr. John. Mr. John! Mr. John! Who's number one on my fetlocks? Oh, oh dear, nearly fell over. <laughs> anyway, um... Okay. Sparky! Sparky, st stop! They're horse thieves! Now, I'm not happy to see it. Beasy, is that you? Beasy, look, I'm the pony star. Go away. Honestly, I'm trying to pop the line. Sparky! Sparky, come back! Sparky! 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 Oh, dear. Sparky, stop! <laughs> 
Stop! Come on, Mr. John. Oh, poor Sparky. Sparky! Sparky! Keep up, Mr. John! Sparky! Oh, Mr. John, thank goodness you're here! What's happening? What are you doing, Miss Thumbstar? What's going on? I don't understand! <gasps> it's a wig! You're a horse thief! <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness! Hello! Oh, 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 Sparky! Sparky, get away! Get away! Get away from them! Right, I'm off! Right, here I come! I'm coming! Wait for me! Hello, Sparky! Hello, Sparky! Hello, Sparky! Hello, Sparky! Hello, Sparky! I made it, thanks to Strop, Daisy and Trigger, of course. A rather bruised Norman and Frankie ran away, hopefully never to be seen again. Hey, that Norman will have a bump and a half on his head tomorrow, eh? <laughs> Serves him right. Film stars my hoof. I gave Mr. John one of my best bows to make up for not being a film pony. Well, you know what they say. Don't put your pony on the stage, Mr. John. Don't put your pony on the stage. Funny, Daisy. day we'd been turned out into the field for the evening to play. Trigger was having a good gallop with Strop while Daisy, well Daisy just ate. Yum yum love like. I decided to practice my jumping. Whee Going very far in that lorry, whoever he is. Here comes Mr. John. He doesn't look happy. Oh, what's that? Strop, trigger quick. Look, look. We're coming. Who's in there? I don't know, but it's a very unusual sounding pony, if you ask me. Oh, hang on, it's coming out. <gasps> Better be polite. Uh, welcome to Chatter Happy. Salam alaikum. Oh, 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 my heavens above oh, no. oh, what oh, is it? Dear. Oh, dear. Hello. Oh. I'm a camel, stupid. Oh. A very upset camel. Oh. I've just been in an accident. Oh, I've got a terrible humpback. Oh, my hump is killing me. Oh, that's much better. It's very cramped in there. Just that's right, you fool, get me out. Calm down, Daisy. Oh, dear, I'm frightened. Oh, my goodness me, what's that on its back? It's just a hump, Daisy. A what? What's, what's a hump? That's silly, it's just a camel. Oh, do you know it's, it's terrifying. I don't like the look of it at all. Take it away, take it away. Take a me. camel that's staying the night by the looks of things. Oh, staying the night? Oh. Shush, oh. Daisy. Oh. I think I've got whiplash. I need the best stable to rest in. I can feel one of my migraines coming on. This infernal damp won't be doing my dodgy knees any good at all. Oh. Best stable, I need the best stable. Yes, that one. 
I want a room with a shower. En suite. I'm not going in there, it's a shed. The cable TV is not working. What a dreadful noise. That camel sounds very sick. Oh, good, they've gone. I'm starving. <laughs> now that I've got the best stable, where can a camel get some decent food around here? He's not sick, he's making it up. Oh, the shame of it. Fancy faking, just so he could get the best stable for the night. Ah, mmm, I can smell food. Don't eat those flowers, they're poisonous. You really will be ill if you eat them. Nonsense. These are a delicacy in Dubai. Oh, here they come. Oh, I feel terrible. Oh. Mr. John thought Abdul really wasn't feeling well and suggested a bit of pony company might help. Looks like he's coming to get one of us. Yep, you're right, Trigger. But who is it going to be? Oh, not me. Oh, not me, Mr. John. I'm frightened of camels. No, no, Mr. John, please, not me, no. Oh, I don't want to go. What if he eats me? Oh, don't make me go in there. Don't be daft, Daisy. Camels only eat ponies if they're really hungry. No. <laughs> oh, stop. Don't be so mean oh, to Daisy. No. What are you doing in my stable? Um, hello, uh, I'm Daisy, and I'm uh, very scared. Um, hello, I'm Abdul, and I'm very hungry. <laughs> I'm also extremely tired, oh. so if you don't mind, I'm going to have a bit of sleep. Oh, well, it, I'm a bit sleepy myself, actually. <laughs> good night, then, spotty pony. Oh, uh, good night, humpy thing. Oh. 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 That's better. Oh, dear God, please keep me safe throughout this long and dark night. Oh, for goodness sake, be quiet. Sorry. Oh, I hope that's not his stomach rumbling with hunger. Oh, my stomach, my stomach. Oh, that's it. He's hungry again. Oh, I'm camel fodder for sure this time. My stomach's not hungry, it's hurting. Hurting badly. Oh. She's faking again. Right. Now look, Mr. Abdul, I'm, I'm not falling for that tummy ache stuff like Mr. John. So will you stop moaning and let me sleep? But in the morning, Abdul was still moaning. I haven't had a wink of sleep all night, but with all your groaning and moaning. Well, you're not suffering. Abdul? Just Abdul? stand there, do something, you useless. Oh, Perhaps he really is ill. Perhaps he really has got a chippy to me. Uh, morning, everyone. Um, I think Abdul really is ill, actually. Oh, rubbish. No, no, I, I, I really think he really is. I think it's that flower he had yesterday. Go and get some help. Go on. Hurry. Oh, dear. Don't worry, Daisy. I'll get Mr. John. Oh, 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 my hook. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Mr. John, Mr. John, Mr. John, ah, Mr. John, Mr. John, Mr. John. Quickly, Mr. John. Sparky? Oh, what a wall. Sparky, Sparky. Come on, sparky, Mr. John. Sparky. Oh, Sparky. Oh. Oh, oh, Quick, Mr. Oh, John, fetch the bed, Abdul's poorly. Oh. Quick, me. I'm in agony. Mr. John called the vet. Abdul, Walla Walla. Get Walla Walla. What? Who arrived very quickly. Oh, oh, oh. That better be the vet. 
Do you think he'll be all right, Strong? Stop the he'll be you. fine. I just hope he's got some medicine for Sparky's hoof. He didn't even warm his hands. The vet had a good look at my hoof and gave Mr. John some medicine. And as for Abdul... Thank you, thank you. I feel a lot better thanks to you, Spotty Pony. And by the way, I don't eat ponies. I'm a vegetarian. I knew that. I knew that. Strop. It was only a joke, Daisy. <laughs> <laughs>